Hello, hello, beautiful people. So for today's video, I thought I'd talk about Vagrant in case you don't know what it is, because I was trying to do a demo for Flex Gateway in Linux, but I tried to use Docker um, and for some reason it didn't work, like something about creating services in Docker, I don't know. But I had to resort to creating a virtual machine. So I tried to create the virtual machine here. Well, I didn't actually try because I did. <laughs> I already knew about Vagrant. But um, you have to have VirtualBox installed in your computer. And Vagrant is so great because basically you just have a configuration file that will tell the computer what to do. Or you can just create one using the CLI tool. And then you can just use still the CLI tool to get into that machine. So it won't be like a graphical user interface that you can just get into. I think you could, but it's not the point of Vagrant. Um, and this way you can just use the terminal to get into the machine and use everything, every single command that you need from the terminal, as opposed to having a graphical user interface. So the good thing is that I, with like the Flex Gateway stuff, I just needed to use the terminal. So that's why I created a Vagrant file. Um, the cool thing about Vagrant is that it gets up super quickly and it doesn't take that much time. Even though it is creating like a whole virtual machine, um, it doesn't take that long. So we're gonna check that out. The first thing you need to do if you are on Mac and you need to install Vagrant, you can use um, brew install Vagrant and that would be good enough. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna do that, but uh, just know that you can just do that and that would be good enough. Um, again, it doesn't take that long to install. If not, uh, if you're like on Windows or something else, you can just go to the Vagrant um, site and check out how to install it. The next thing is that we're going to use Ubuntu and we're going to use specifically Bionic, um, the Bionic version. So there are two ways that you can do this. You can either use the CLI to do Vagrant in it and then select the Ubuntu and the version um, and then select Vagrant up or you can create a Vagrant file with this. You can just like copy and paste this thing and put it there, which is what I have. Uh, so I have this Vagrant file in this folder and now I just have to do Vagrant up and this will... Um, essentially create my virtual machine and set it up and get it started. So as you can see, my virtual machine is uh, getting created, it's starting. You can see here the preview of what's happening. And here in the background, you can see that everything is running. Um, so you can see what's happening. And I decided to do this um, in the video instead of just like doing it beforehand and just showing you because I wanted to show you how long it takes to create the virtual machine from scratch and to set it up and to get it started. The good thing I got about having the Vagrant file is also that you can add more configurations to this. Um, I don't know. Okay, so this is done. Let me just show you here. This is done. And if I go here, I will see that this is running. So. It didn't really take that long. It was like less than a minute. So now that we have this set up, what we want to do is to do Vagrant SSH to get into the machine. And that's all you need to do to start using the command line or the terminal that's inside the virtual machine. So, um, yeah, welcome to Ubuntu. And then here's a version, um, it's an LTS which is needed for Flex Gateway. Um, and that's it. You have, you are inside the machine. So now you can actually just use this and st do stuff in your machine. I'm not, um, I'm not in my Mac anymore. I am inside my virtual machine now. As you can see here, like Vagrant at Ubuntu Bionic. So that's it. That's how you can get started. You have to install uh, VirtualBox, 
because you do have to have like something to create the machine into and then you have to install Vagrant and then you can create the Vagrant file or you can just run um, Vagrant in it and then this thing, this will create the Vagrant file for you in the folder that you're located and then just select Vagrant up to get it up and then Vagrant SSH if you want to get into the Virtual Machines console. Now that you're here, you can start doing whatever you need to do for Flex Gateway, for example. Um, here, this is like if you were inside the machine. And if you want to exit, just select exit and you go back to your machine. And that's it. <laughs> I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you can do more stuff with Linux apart from Flex Gateway. Let me know what else you would want me to do. Maybe I can explore Flex Gateway solutions. Um, I'm sure they can be done in less than 10 minutes. So let me know if you want me to do that. Alrighty, see you then on the next video. Bye.